yeah good afternoon good day up and running again so today i'm gonna take you to show you day life in kingsley birmingham okay west midlands i've shown you um day life in mosley the other day right and we start just up at the top up there where those two people are just where that bus is coming around the corner i start from there to show you mosley the other day so now i'm going to show you day life in kingsley so as you can see we're outside it's a nice lovely day nice weather we don't really get nice weather here in the uk very often so when it comes we kind of really really appreciate it you know what i mean people come out in their shorts and the short dresses man come out in short pants and all those kind of stuff you know what i mean but one thing bother us here in in the uk when it's summertime it's um the a fever there's a thing called a fever some some pollen can you see the pollen the pollen going around there's there's stuff from the trees and the flowers that blows around and it's the pollen that causes us to be either stuffy sneeze sneezing aching rubbing of eyes and all that kind of thing so that's just what it does and it's called a fever but what you have to do because that's what's bothering me now i do apologize but that's what you have to you have to um go to the chemist what you have to do go to the chemist and they gave you some kind of tablets for for a fever okay to stop it from irritating you all day because this thing irritates you all day from the weather is good and it's summertime it irritates you it doesn't the pollen doesn't affect you in the in the winter time it affects you just in summertime because the heat and the flowers and all that kind of thing you know what i mean so i'm just gonna start you up here that's manjit manjit across the road it's a hardware store you know what i mean and then i'm gonna walk you and show you king's eat so we're still in mosley right now we're still in mosley right now a couple of steps down and we hit king's eat you know what i mean about a hundred hundred yards from here and we hit King's Eat. So, mate, this allergy business, this 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 thing here. So across there, we've got a school across there. Just across there, we've got a school. But this A fever business, it's terrible. When I said it's terrible, it's terrible. And it's really, really bad. You know what I mean? For those people that suffer with it, for those people that suffer with it, it's really, really bad. And it's really really irritating over here we've got a funeral funeral home just here we've got a funeral home so in case my cat died actually it's not an animal funeral home it's a it's a human funeral home yes yeah, so i can't bring my cat if my cat die over there i can't bring him over there so yeah as you see man's running in his shorts normally winter time we don't get people running as much but in summertime we get lots of people running up and down and then in the park as well we've get the park packed out on the weekend got loads of people that pack out the park on the weekend because as i said when we do get the weather over here and it's good weather like like today and tomorrow it's going to be i think it's going to be 31 or something like that you know what i mean yesterday was 28 so today and tomorrow should be really really hot so if i get the chance tomorrow i'll take you down to the park which i should have the chance i'll take you down to the park so over there we've got a school over there queen's bridge school you know what i mean there's a massive massive school over there queen beach school yeah, and don't mind my accent because sometimes it's not really an accent it's more like an accident so hope you can understand my accident you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm Jamaica. I live in the UK here. So, yeah. That's the park. That's my local park over there as well. Very, very nice park. You know what I mean? Sometimes it gets too hot for me over here because the, the weather, the, the, the heat over here is not like Caribbean heat. This one makes you stuffy and makes you uncomfortable. So, sometimes it, it, it's just annoying, to be honest. The heat is just, just terrible over here. We thank God for the heat, but... It's, it's very humid and it's make you feel sticky and 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 uncomfortable you know what i mean 
but we do appreciate it and we do thank God for it. You know what I mean? So yeah, as I said, that's the park down there. Highbury Park. Very big massive park. Massive massive park. You know what I mean? It goes all the way and it takes you to it could take you to Edge Baston. It could take you to Edge Baston. Um, and that way as well takes you down to Edge Baston Cricket Ground. Takes you to um town center that way there takes you to a lot a lot of different different places right as i said edge bus then town center and the cricket ground is down that way you know what i mean so now i'm going to show you the sign that says welcome to king z okay so we got 50 bus that runs around here we got 50 bus that runs around here and 35 bus that runs around here as well Right, and the 35 could hit Cottridge, the 50 hits Maypole, Jewel Zeat, and all them places. Okay, up here takes you to takes you to uh, Maypole as well. You could drive here to go to Maypole, and you could drive here to go to Hall Green, and all them ends. Them ends, you get me? Don't want to get run over, you know. Get me so kind of nice as it says see sign welcome to King Z as you can see there let me zoom out for you there you go see so welcome to King Z so now we're in King Z right now all right we're in King Z right now King Z is a nice area I love this area not too busy not too fussy you know what I mean? Not too busy and it's not too fussy. Got my local gym over there. You know what I mean? My local gym. And obviously these school kids coming from school in the evening. When the school is out, oh my God, they give so much problem. They give so much problem. We've got an art gallery right here. Collision collision unit apparently so we must have some collision up ahead we've got a local pub here we call the station where they do live music and everything like that so that's our local pub as well so down there we've got our home base so anything for housing house anything for house and tools, tool station down there. You need your armor, you need anything for cars, you need anything like that. Home bases for homes, so you got garden supply stuff down there. Everything to do with homes is down there. From garden to barbecue to household stuff, bedding, quilt, sheet, everything. I mean, and you got tool station across there, down the bottom underneath the gym. So that's the gym there. Right, you got a court here, but I don't think it's open anymore. I never seen anybody coming out, coming in and going, going in it, never. So I don't know if they they use it for for just holding prisoners because at the end of the day, there's a police station behind it. So there's a police station just behind this courthouse here. As I says, I never seen anybody coming out, coming in and going from the court. I think they abandon it and use it. I don't know what they use it for. Maybe office supplies, maybe prisoners, I don't know. But there's a station, police station, or just there, as you can see on the sign. If you see that sign there, it says police station, and that's the police station. These police station as well these days, for like that one, you can't walk in. You cannot walk in. So if you have an emergency out here, you can't just run in there because it's locked off. Okay? We've got a library over there, local library over there just across the road there and then over here we've got our shop 24 hour shop off license and then up here you've got the caribbean shop there only caribbean shop in king seat right that's the only caribbean shop in king seat but when i look at it i don't think it's a caribbean shop i really think it's some kind of kids place because for example the logo on it and stuff like that you know what i mean makes you think 
that's not a Caribbean shop. So for me, that advertisement is wrong. 24 hour shop, come down here, get your milk, get your beer, get your anything, get your bread. You know what I mean? And just get anything you need. Coffee shop right here. Normal little coffee shop. Then you got some lamp shops here. Sell lamps and stuff like that. Big massive shop, never been in there. You know what I mean? Don't need to go in there. Over there, you've got art shop over there, and sweet shop. Okay, housing agency on this side. You know, what I mean? more housing agency over that side over there. So as you can see, nail shop, KFC. Dog is hungry. That guy is balling out for KFC. Waiting for the master to come out with it, with the bucket. You know what I mean? Then we have Caspian's, my local pizza shop. They sell nice pizza. Still, not gonna lie, I make nice pizza. Yeah. You know what I mean? As you can see, going up to the high street, we're on the high street. So the high street is normally very, very busy. Very, very busy. Right? All different shops from Pizza Hut to Plant Shop to Nail Shop. Rainbow, I don't know what Rainbow does. Right? And then you've got Organic Shop, and then you got Cake Shop over there, and you've got Dessert Shop. There was a cinema there, but apparently, where that big bit there, there was a cinema, but then it burnt down. You know what I mean? So now they just use it for some background market. They turn the back of it into a market so you can walk in on a Saturday and a Friday and, and visit there. So being as you're doing, being as you're watching. Being as you're watching for me right now and I appreciate the energy. Nice little lounge over there. You go over there and sit down, chill out, have coffee and that. Burger shop over here. Big massive burger shop. You know what I mean? Just hit that subscribe for me. These are for electric vehicle, as you can see. Electric vehicle pumps. You know what I mean? Come here and charge your cars. You know what I mean? Right in King Z. So you can't miss them. You will see them all over the place. So as you can see, we at Dixie. Mate, the sunshine is making me hot right now. So you got Dixie's chicken shop over there. But as I was saying, that's the gate to the pizza, back to the cinema, back of the cinema. Right, you got taxi base up here, taxi stand, where you come and you get a taxi if you need a taxi, taxi. Am I saying taxi? You get a taxi. See? So that used to be the front of the cinema, front of the cinema. And as I said, it's burned down. So that's the gate there, right where that sign is. That's a big massive gate there. So they open it and you go around there and do market. They have a little market on Fridays and Saturday. That used to be where that burger shop used to be. It used to be August. That sells everything. So that, that's been closed down from COVID. Because COVID, when COVID happened, loads of business shut down. You know what I mean? And you have to replan, reorganize, and think about finances. So most places closed down. You know what I mean? So just gonna walk you up right now so we got bike shops over there high tides and all that Caribbean high tides and fish and chips and all that kind of thing you know what I mean you're yeah, right <laughs> she's just smiling away though <laughs> she's bare smiling boy I don't know what's going on there but She's looking at me and she's her, she's just light up like a Christmas tree. So we got Papa John Pizza Hut right here, so more barbers. See? We've got dessert shop over there. The as you can see, dessert shop over there. And all that thing going back all the way down there to the Dixie Chicken Shop. And I mean roosters. There's lots of food shop. There's so much food shop. One barber's there. So you got lots and lots of food shop. Too much food shop if you ask me. Right? Then you've got the courthouse. Then you got nail shop here. 
right then you got game shop it's a game shop playstation whatever you need then you've got more um agency for housing then you got this massive pub over here the old court you know what i mean when me and the missus kicks off when me and the missus kicks off i'll go in there sometime and sit down and have a pint spend a couple of hours and come back just more shops up there in the entrance to asda so that's asda um entrance there if you need anything that's the car park for asda so you just drive that way and get to get into asda car park and then just a few shops up there you know what I mean? then as it says over there is the old pub then next to it you've got um ear shop and you've got butchers and then poundland and then the big massive church All right so i'm gonna walk you up as well I'm gonna walk you up. but i get i get very uncomfortable with the heat because i suffer with the a fever so i get very very uncomfortable back right now so as i said if you can hit that subscribe button for me while you watch that'd be appreciated you know I mean? that'd be really appreciated as i said that's the butcher's butcher shop across there i sell nice meat over there not gonna lie to you very nice meat in the butcher shop and then you've got the pound line the pound line across there I mean then you've got the church but this area I love King's Eat still not gonna lie to you this is Asda as I was telling you about it's how you get into the car park you know so it's kind of busy on on a weekday like in the weekday students and kids and all that kind of thing you know what I mean so it's getting really busy Caribbean shop students them are out you know, so it's kind of mad busy, mad busy. So we got phone shops and you got banks and all that kind of thing. We got post office. Bye bye, Uncle. Blessings, blessings. So, yeah. So, up here for now, as I said, we got nail salon, we got banks, we got phone shops. You've got exchange shops over there, as you see. You've got exchange shops here. Right, they come here and they exchange the stuff for you, sell stuff to them. So, and then after the exchange shop, you got a phone shop here, EE -E phone shop. So, body shop down there. And then you've got the post office and then you got Asda. So everything all in one place. Right over that side, as it says from down there, we've got HSBC Bank. And then you got coffee shop. And then you've got I don't know what West Brom is. And then you've got um ear shop and then a little casino place. And then you got the the pub, the pub. You know what I mean? So once you come away from the pub, you've got phone shop and you've got cash convert cash converters, shoe zone, and that, and then back to the, the exchange shop. So there's all a uh, lots of stuff in one little place on the high street, which is good. Because everything you need is in this one little area. I mean, show you some prices for phones and stuff. You see the prices. prices are very expensive isn't it and these phones are like used you know I mean these are all used stuff you know none of these stuff is new it's like people bring them here people bring them here and can't afford to get them back out can't afford to get them back out so they're kind of they're kind of just 
leave them because if you don't have the money to get them back out obviously you have to just leave them because this is what the shop is about you bring stuff they'll give you a loan they'll give you a certain amount of money what they think your item is worth like a, a, a what they think your item is worth and it and, and and when when you can't pay it back let me show you inside when you can't pay it back because i bring my stuff here all the time and lose it Wagonji. so this is what happened in here rasta what yes, so this is how it is in here you know what i mean you bring stuff in here and you can't get it back out i lose a couple of things in here not gonna lie to you All right, boss. I lose a I lose a couple of stuff in here. You know what I mean? Because when I was hustling, I needed the money, so I just bring my stuff here, bring my stuff in here, and end up can't afford to get it back out, so I end up losing it. You know what I mean? Games and all that. Fire, little more. So I end up losing it. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's how it is. Big massive TV, a 65 inch, used 649 pounds. You have one up there, so 40, 49 inch, 344 pounds. Them sell from everything. You see them sell bike now, electric bike. Got electric thing on it, 499 pounds. See? Used deck. See that new mark deck there? I'm seeing the prices on it. But that's a used deck as well. So they sell kind of everything in here. Everything you can think of, they sell it in there. Except houses and sinks and them kind of thing. But anything you have in your house, betting shop. That's your local betting shop. That's a local dentist over there. Right? So, got charity shop in here as well. I see a charity shop in here, you know what I mean? And then over there, as I says, your pub's over there. Dentist, British Red Cross. You got your betting shop, that's up. And then you got the bank, Subway, sandwiches. And then you got Wilco's up the top up there. So you're still gonna walk up, just making sure that you've seen everything that I can show you for the time being. You know what I mean? So yeah, we got boots, chemists. You got your local boot shop here. Beauty supplies and pharmacy. Right, and next to it, obviously, I'll show you the cash, cash converter there. Then you got peacocks there. All right, and then you got the card factory. And I got your subway across there, as I says, Wilco's. And then the next little casino, casino place as well, betting shop. And then over there, you got phone shop on the corner. Phone shop and you got Aldi over there, Lidl's over there, just in that place. Basically, when you pass there, it's a little dead end down there, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't even take it down there, but as you can see, little is in there. I will go. Don't want to get run over, oh my God. So now, I'll take you to the corner shop. Corner shop up here, Costa Coffee. That's the coffee shop right here. So it is busy. It might not look busy, but it is busy. You know what I mean? Believe me, it is busy. Mate, why I'm stopping? I'm telling you, the heat. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm telling you, the heat is making me uncomfortable. I swear. See, all the way down there, you got Iceland. Let me walk you down there. And then we come back up. So, that's a coffee shop. People just chill, bring their thing, whatever they need to bring, and have a coffee, relax. 
job center job center in King's Eid, just beside Costa Coffee that's your job center right here all right as you can see job center there and then you got a photo booth here get your photos done nice photoshop expensive but all right key cutting get your key cut all right and then you got a nice little pub right there so then you've got iceland iceland right there and then you've got a school over there big massive school car park over there nice car park 50p to park your car for an hour very nice i think very cheap 50p i think it was three pounds for the whole day something like that you know what i mean which is which i think is very good over this side this car park is expensive i think it's two pound an hour so do the maths you know i mean it's quick fit up there i won't take you any further and then that's the school across there you know what i mean up there is just taking it to other places you know what i mean not much to see up there but yeah Catholic school over there, big badge Catholic school over there. So, I say you have to be careful. But as I says, Kings Eat Mosley is a very nice place to live, but it's expensive, very, very expensive. There's a house by me that I wanted to buy, it's up for sale, and it's by me, and it's for 1100,000. You know what I mean? 1100,000 pounds. I'm thinking, yo, if I could just win some money off the lottery, I'd be very happy. You know what I mean? Even if I win the exact 1100,000, I would just use it and buy it and then just work the rest of the money to cover what I needed to cover. You know what I mean? Or take 1100,000 to the bank and says, look, I got this and I just need some top up. You know what I mean? There's Costa Coffee I told you about. So I just take the 1100,000 to the bank and says, yo, Listen, I'm getting a mortgage. I just need a couple of a couple of thousands to top this up. You know what I mean? So I can use that for any emergencies. For example, breakdown, damages of the house or stuff that I needed to repair. You know what I mean? There's a clock shop right here. Every day I pass, I come look at desert clocks. But I haven't seen any recently. I did see some. So you got some down here, I'll show you some. So every day I come in here, I look at them. There they are, right, 100 pounds. It was 130 pounds the other day, and it's now it's gone to 100 pounds, can you see? So now I can come and get, get one, you know what I mean? So as you seen, it's a desert boot. These ones are the fake ones. These ones are not the real ones right fake ones again i thought it was the original but it's not that's why it's gone down to that that's why the prices are like that so if you if you don't know you get trick you know what i mean if you don't know you get trick see and normally inside it says original desert clocks in it this says desert boot it says boots desert boots you know what i mean so make sure you know what you're buying because that's not the original and I mean, they used to have the original for 130, as I said, before it was 169. But now, I can't see any. I can't see any. They sell lots of kids, kids clocks, though. It's quite a big shop. You know what I mean? So, yeah, make sure you know what you're buying. Because everybody's making copies or making frauds, fraud one, or copying the original. So make sure you know what you're buying. You know what I mean? So yeah. Nice little furniture shop up here as well. Just opened. Furniture shop. Just opened that one. And you have a health shop up here. That's your health shop there. Next to it, you got your bank. You got your bank next to it. And next to it, you got a pub that just recently opened. There was um, a JD shop up here. That's the only thing that's not up here. Uh, a JD shop there was a JD's training shop up here and now it's all gone you know what I mean it's all gone but I, I am upset that it's gone because it was a nice little shop you know what I mean and now they turn it into a pub you know what I mean people stressed out they go there and sit down and drink so over on that side as well you got the church you've got the church on that side and bus stops 
and stuff like that. And you got picture, another picture shop up here, so again. So that's another picture shop. Then up there you got tattoo shop and you've got the same school that I show you around the corner. So as you can see, and don't think everywhere is clean because not everywhere is clean. As you see, rubbish everywhere. You know what I mean? Some places tidy and neat, some places, you know, everywhere got their flaws. You know what I mean? Not, not everywhere is perfect. So as you see, that one down to take you to Cotteridge, that road down there take you to Cotteridge where the number 11 bus is. So that road down there takes you to Cotteridge, you know what I mean? And then you've got all the school kids come out and they hang up on the high street until they're ready to go. You know what I mean? Nice pound land here. Savers go in there, pick up anything that you needed to pick up. From tissue to rolls and all that kind of thing. Chicken shop next. As I said, down there takes you to Cotteridge. You know what I mean? And all that kind of thing. Number 11 bus around there, 76. And all them buses. We got Halifax Bank. And all that kind of thing. So, coffee shop. Nice little coffee shop here again. That one just opened as well. There's quite a lot of coffee shop and quite a lot of food shop nationwide. Another bank. Coffee shop again across the road. And then we've got nail shop here as well. I don't know how some of these companies stay open because at the end of the day, you've got six of the same shop in one location. For example, the coffee shops, there's quite a lot of them and the nail shop is quite a lot of them. You know what I mean? So I don't understand how come most of them stay open. I guess it's the fittest of the fittest survives when it comes to business. You know what I mean? This used to be a weather spoon pub and all of it closed down. The pear tree. But you, it's, it's still owned by, it's called a pear tree, but it's owned by weather spoon. And as you've seen over here, let me show you over here where the number 11 comes from. So that was the where the number 11 come from. Excuse me, bus driver, I'm trying to do a video here. So that was where the number 11 come from by the traffic lights there. By the traffic lights. And then you've got coffee shop. And then you've got booking agency. Then you've got um, a casino shop. And then you've got clothes shop. And then you've got road shop. Right? And then you've got houses. And then you've got African. The African um, shop there. And from the African shop, you got pet shop. And from the pet shop, you got an furniture shop. And then you got jewelers. Right? Let me walk you around. And we do have phone box here. This is our phone box used by our local crackheads. These phone box used by our local crackheads. Then you got a next betting shop over here. See? Let me zoom out so you can see. So you got a next betting shop there. And then you got rug shop. So all type of rugs sell there. Then you got a next betting shop here. Right? And then boots. Kinella chemist. Get your eyes tested. And from there. So this is um glasses boots they're still connected to the same boots that i've shown you up the top and i was saying from where the african shop is come down there's lights bank and then there's sainsbury's right there in front of you sainsbury's and then you've got your local barbers here next to the boot shop you've got your local barbers and then around here, you've got a place around here that sell cars. They sell cars around here. So. Four. As you can see, the ridge. So if you know about cars, you will know if the price is. They go by mileage and all that kind of stuff, innit? I mean, 
So other than that, up there takes you to a different place as well. Total, totally different place. And over there you've got, um, you buy your, your food and stuff over there. And then there's a the chemist. So over there sell meats and stuff like that. Frozen meats and stuff like that. So you could go over there if you need some fish or you need some chicken or something like that. Then you've got charity shop here as well. British Red Cross charity shop. So you go in there. If, you, if, you, if you're running low on money and you need a dress or something, you could go in there and get yourself something. But you know, most people don't like to go in charity shop because they don't want anybody to see them wearing charity clothes or other people's clothes. Because most of them are, are like giving away to charity. Giving away, that's why it's called charity shop. Because you give it away and then the charity shop try to make a little money for themselves and, and help out the homeless and the Red Cross. Obviously, you know, the Red Cross is a big company. You know that hairdressing shop right here? Dixie Agent, Dixie Shop again, Dixon, where the agency, then you've got carpet, beauty shop, then you've got food shop. I need to get some watermelon, but I left my wallet. I need to get some watermelon. These are my favorite. So they're $4.99 each. You know what I mean? But I need to get my wallet, so I kind of left my wallet, so. I need to go get my wallet and come back here just in shop sports but i think they do athletics in there like not athletics but fitness it's a fitness center so it's not a, a, a direct sports in town they have normally shoes and trainers and clothes in there but this one is a fitness fitness center see so next to sainsbury's over there as i was saying you've got the poundland that one closed down that one closed down and then next to the power line you got bed it used to be dreams but they changed it from dreams bed to something else and from dreams you've got an next you've got the same bed shop and then you've got the bp station the shell bp shell shell don't say bp say shell so you got the next shell shop there and here you've got you've got a black um african salon so very expensive though. I went in there once and I nearly bankrupt myself. I went in there once to do my hair and I nearly bankrupt because when the woman told me that it's, I thought it was going to be 30 pounds. It's a good thing I had a hundred pounds on my card. The woman told me that it's, it's uh, 80 pounds to do my hair. I nearly have a fit. I nearly have a heart attack. So that's the hair shop there. And then you come down, nail shop again. I told you there's loads of them. Loads of them. And then you've got another hair salon in there another here and then you got soul chicken that's soul chicken for you there right there so that's it for king's eat you know what i mean then this road here takes you up to maple right straight into maple that main road takes you straight into maple takes you to the motorway as well there's your shell across there you know what i mean that's where i get my petrol and then that's it so before you go, if you could hit that subscribe for me again, you can hit that subscribe before you go. That would be much, 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 much appreciated. Here, number seventy-six bus. So on the bus, it's it's um. If you go after nine o'clock, if you go after nine o'clock, it's two pound forty to get on the bus after nine o'clock. Before nine o'clock, it's. £2.20 after 9 o'clock and before 9 o'clock it's £2.40 for a single ticket for a day saver it's £4 so you ride the bus all day for £4 can you see on the side there that's your prices on the side there so you could sit on the bus for the whole day and ride the bus all day until it finishes at 12 o'clock at night or one o'clock at night some of them finish two o'clock some of them finish finish 12 depends on the area because why they finish air early some of the areas are quite rough so the driver them life could be at risk where they get robbed and all that kind of thing so yeah I'm gonna walk you back down now I'm gonna walk you back down now so you can just have a little look for yourself if you've seen anybody that you know or you seen anybody that you want to wave to while you're watching this like going there's Dorothy oh my god that's Dorothy yeah you can do that right now 
<laughs> What's going on today? The heat, the heat makes the woman them like me, I swear. Or maybe it's how I look. Let me see if you can see me. That's how I look. So I don't know if it's the heat that making the woman them smile with me or whatever. I, I mean, I just see an average white shirt and hat and that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. See, that thing that I want one. I want one. So, but I'm getting bare looking. I'm getting a lot of looking today, boy. I'm getting a lot of women. That's the, that, there's two cars just passing me a while ago with two girls each. And they're just staring, boy. They're just staring. They're just staring at me. Which I'm happy to see. At least I'm not off the mark. I'm not, nobody's like, if, if I wasn't getting a look in, it would be very sad. It makes you feel like you're old. You make you feel like nobody cares. You make you feel like nobody wants you. But once you start getting a look in, even when you're with your partner or whoever you're with, it's a good sign. You know what I mean? To show that people are interested in you and there's hope. Don't run me over, please. And there is hope. You know what I mean? Which is good. It's very good to see. You know what I mean? It's nice. So for the rest of the time now, I'm walking up. I'm going to be looking at cars, looking in cars. Because it's nice when you're seeing a woman looking at you. You just don't go and stare at them because if you go and stare at them to an extent, then you know that could be a lawsuit. You know what I mean? So you just take it easy. Don't overdo it. I mean, do not overdo it. Because as I says, once you overdo it, you could get charged for sexual assault, even just staring too hard. You know what I mean? Because there's only one girl tell me, why are you looking at me like that? I feel like him, you're trying to do stuff to me with your eyes. And I'll be like, love, it's just that your lace need to be tied and you're gonna walk on your lace in a minute. And she goes, okay, thank you. You know what I mean? So she was flipping out for no reason at all. But such is life. You know what I mean? You learn as you go along. So yeah, this is King's Eat for you. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please subscribe. Leave a comment. If my video is shaky, I'm just, just starting out. So I need all the help I can get. So if you want to leave a comment and says, well, I think this was wrong. I think your camera need cleaning. I think your lens need cleaning. I think your commentary is poor. You know what I mean? Please, please, I'm very sensitive. Do not leave any negative comment. Do not leave any negative comment because I will cry and I will shut down the channel and don't start up again. Because I'm very sensitive. My mom says I'm meant to be a lady because I was so sensitive. So she says to me, you're meant to be a lady. That's what she says. Because everything I cry, well, it's not my fault. That's how I was made. You know, very sensitive. If I, if I probably a fly pitch on me, I will cry. You know what I mean? If a fly pitch on me or a bug or something of that nature pitch on me, I will cry. Sometimes I see people with bags and stuff and I want to help them. But sometimes people might think that. Because sometimes the way you dress, can send the wrong signal so sometimes i see people with bags and stuff like shopping like a lady a while ago was up there with her child and she got her child and she got some big bags and i wanted to go and says let me help you carry the bags but then she might think that i'm trying to um i'm trying to run off with her bags and stuff like that because you never know people quick to judge some people not everybody some people are quick to judge so you want to be careful you know what I mean? You want to be careful. And the ones them that you think is not going to need the help, the ones them that need the help, they're the ones that you're shy to help. And the ones them that you're shy to help, those are the ones that need the help. Wagwanji. So, yeah. Man's got no legs, boy. And he's walking behind. No legs at all. See, if the little young ladies are smiling at me, that's good. Good in a sense where people smile at you and not scared of you. You know what I mean? It's good when people smile 
just even a smile will make brighten your day because sometimes people come out their house and nobody smile with them nobody said hello to them and it's very very sad you know somebody smile with you at least it brightens your day makes you feel good you know what i mean it not, don't necessarily mean a smile like they want you it could be just a smile to say yo hello how are you you okay just to, for you to even react to says hi or smile back or something you know what i mean simply it's, it's, it's not difficult much you know what i mean because we all meant to be living in unity all show love to each other show respect to each other that's how we meant to be living but some people just overstep the mark and then then just try and do things difficult make life difficult you know what I mean? Quite a lot of ambulance today, I think. That's the second one that passed us. That's the second one that passed us today. So yeah, this is your day life in King's Eat. You know what I mean? Today is Thursday. Tomorrow, I can't do tomorrow because tomorrow, obviously, I'm DJing out. So I cannot do tomorrow. So I can only do it today. Yo. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's day life for you. You know what I mean? Next, maybe tomorrow daytime, if I got an hour or so, I'll take you to one of my ends as well, which is um, Selly Oak. You know what I mean? I like Selly Oak. Selly Oak is nice. Busy as well. You know what I mean? Because it's Friday, it's going to be busy as well. Because obviously, people are looking to go out on the weekend. People are looking to party. People are shopping it, shopping, and all that kind of stuff. So, tomorrow could be a good day in Selly Oak. You know what I mean? But yeah, as it says, this is King's Eat for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please, please do. Hit that subscribe button for me, please. And thank you. God bless you. So yeah, we're almost at the end, almost at the end from where we started from, maybe 150 yards and we're back to the end where we started from. So there's the local KFC as I said, Caspian, local shops, I mean, here nail shop. Now these kids give a lot of trouble man, that's what I was saying to you, they run in the road they do a lot you know what I mean and sometimes I don't know I don't know if they don't realize the danger of running in the road and all that kind of thing back where the Caribbean shop is that's what I mentioned to you about the Caribbean shop the logo looks like it's some kind of game shop where you go to play games with your kids and then we're back at our gym back at our local gym just in front of us here make sure you look both ways before you cross bro bro So this is my local gym. As I was telling you, down there, you've got home base. And behind the home base, you got a play zone. A play zone where you can take all your kids. You know what I mean? A play zone where you can take all your kids. This gym here is 24 7 24 hour gym. So you can go any time of the day, any time of the night. You know what I mean? I think the prices are 20 pounds 99 pence for the month so 20 pounds and 99 pence for the membership for the month station pub down there see how the buses come three sometimes they come five in a row five in a row i remember when i used to catch bus they used to come like five in a row and when you finally need one now they don't come because they all gather up in one gather up at the same time
RS Audi RS Max Max, Max, Max Number 35 bus as it says right now here and number 50 bus So yeah, 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 yeah I'm getting hungry now I need a drink Thank God my A fever didn't bother me as much Because normally it bothered me quite a lot So that's my park down there That's me one of my local parks That's just one of them that's my local park and then just up the top there is where we started from you know what I mean so I'm going to take a rest now and just up the top there where we started from we started from the Manji so just on the corner there that's where we started from but I am going to say thank you for watching and for those people that subscribe, thank you very much for subscribing. Really, really appreciate it. So might as well, I'm thirsty, might as well I just go in, innit? Instead of sitting down. Because my house, <coughs> sorry, I do apologize. My house is not far from here. So might as well I just go in and have a drink and relax. I wait for the green man. It'd be a shame, run out in the road. I wait for the green man. <laughs> Normally at this time, people finish work and the traffic start building up. The traffic start building up. So you make the most of it. If you can walk, you walk. So if anything, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. We're back at the school. Thank you very much for watching.